Hello, welcome. I'm Melissa. Thank you for joining me today. Today's video is probably going to be broken up into a couple segments. I'm going to start filming it today and then I'll probably finish up filming it a different day, but you guys will see it all in one video. But I'm going to start my mealybug treatment. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the Hoyas that I have out in my window in the dining area, there's at least five Hoya that I think that I know have mealies. And I tried lace wings. I tried two different rounds of lace wings from two different places. Neither one of them did anything. Just a super huge disappointment. I was really looking forward to trying them. I don't know if they just weren't good batches rounds or they just didn't want to eat the mealies. They uh, just didn't really seem that interested. The latest round that I did, I had gotten from a local place and they were on little cards and I kept finding them on the cards. They kept like eating the eggs and I don't know. I just feel like they weren't really doing much of anything. And then they kind of dispersed. They kind of hatched in rounds and every once in a while I would see one on a plant leaf and then they disappeared and then I didn't see any and I haven't seen any in probably a week now. So that tells me that they're probably gone. <laughs> Who knows what happened to them. I don't know if they flew outside because we leave the patio open uh, a little bit for the cats to go in and out or if they just didn't make it or who knows, maybe they're still on some of my plants and I just don't know that they're there. With all that being said, uh, I am gonna have to do like a manual treatment for mealies. And what I was thinking is, I think a good majority of those plants that do have mealies, I need to repot anyway. So it's perfect. I can give them fresh soil and then I can clean their leaves really good and we'll just take care of the mealy problem once and for all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one and done. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna grab the first Hoya and we're gonna start some of the treatment process and get these Hoyas uh, growing and doing better. We are in my dining area and I pulled one of the Hoyas that's really bad. It's really, really, really infested with mealy bugs. It's honestly, it's disgusting. They're everywhere, literally everywhere. They're just all over. Hi, Chai. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had the lace wings on this plant and they were on this plant for a while. I feel like there were several that hatched. I had like two cards on this plant at one point, but they didn't really do anything. I'm gonna try and do this over a bin because I don't want to like spill anything and then ruin the table. I've done that with nail polish twice now, the acetone, and I've ruined uh, stuff. So I'm gonna do this over the bin. Got our alcohol. Yeah, all I'm gonna do is just start taking this in the alcohol. And then I'm literally just going to um, just start wiping the leaves and everything and I'm just gonna like uh, keep doing that but I'm gonna get in like really good with two hands I just wanted to kind of show you up close the plan it's like really get in there it's so gross
Okay, change of plans. This Hoya is just absolutely covered in mealies. I just, it's gonna take forever trying to clean them all off. I think what I'm gonna do is, the thing is, is like the Hoya uh, is covered in sap from the mealies and all the vines are like tangled into each other here. And um, I'm trying to get this trellis out. I'm getting mealies everywhere. This is so disgusting. If I didn't have so many Hoyas affected in this corner, I honestly was like thinking, do I even really want this Hoya? Because I don't know, guys, this thing is infested. I think what I'm gonna do is dunk this Hoya um, in some hot soapy water and just let it soak for like 20 minutes or something. Wow, I let this go way too far. I don't have any gloves either. I'm using a plastic bag. Oh my gosh, the mealies are falling down everywhere. So disgusting. So I did this so I could like grab this plant and I'm gonna get off all this old dirt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plant outside and we're going to use a garden hose and hose the shit out of it. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the plant back inside and soak it in a bin of hot soapy water with Castile soap and go from there. <laughs> Just came back in from hosing it down. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to unpot them all and hose the crap out of them. <laughs> Uh, this thing was covered. I didn't know what else to do. I definitely lost some leaves out there. Uh, but yeah, I feel like it knocked pretty much all of them off. Just like jet blast it. They look pretty clean. And then, you know, I got rid of pretty much all the soil. There's just roots. So what I'm going to do is just soak this in some Castile soap and water, maybe for like 10 minutes, and then I'll pot it back up. And then what I'll do is just keep it isolated from the 
area until I can get them all done. This is probably the only one I'll do today because um, it's getting a little bit later in the evening and we have some dinner plans. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this one and pot it up. And then I will continue on um, another day. I'll probably eventually get to them all in that area because yeah, I don't want them to keep spreading around and I don't want them to get back on one that I've already like treated, you know? I'm not adding them in in any particular order. I'm just kind of stuffing them all in here. I think the pot it was in before was like a seven inch. Uh, it wasn't too much bigger, but I just decided to go with the six inch. so many strands. <laughs> Stuff them all down in here. Okay, I'm just gonna use my hand because I don't have my scoop. I am ordering a set of scoops after this video. I'm just gonna water her really quick. I will trellis her another day and I might have to add some more soil, but um, our neighbors are waiting on us. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to dinner really quick and then I will resume tomorrow with more Hoya care. All right, this will do for now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello. Welcome. It is three days later, I think. Uh, yeah, it's been about three days. So we are going to pick up where we left off with the whole <laughs> Hoya repot mealy situation. I ended the video kind of abruptly. We were literally like a few minutes away from heading to dinner. It was like a last minute dinner. We hadn't planned on going to dinner. Uh, <laughs> So uh, I was trying to like get it repotted at least before we left, but I ran out of time. So I have the Hoya in the little bin there. So I'm going to get it restaked and do a quick look over. I haven't checked it again since I hosed it off outside and cleaned the mealies. And then I'm gonna do a few more like repot Hoyas and cleaning situation. And then I think I'll give this area over here like a good wipe down, like the window seal and everything. So that's the plan for the rest of the video here. I'm excited to get more Hoyas taken care of. When I tell you, cleaning those mealies off of that Hoya brought me so much happiness. Let me just tell you, like, I felt so, 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 so bad I neglected this Hoya. And I honestly don't know why I don't know why I waited so long. I honestly, I know I wanted to give the lace wings a go, like I really did, 
But now that there is not a single mealy on this plant and the leaves are clean, there's no disgusting bugs. Like it's such a beautiful plant. And I felt so bad that I neglected her for so long. Uh, so to see her like this makes me so happy. So I'm excited to get her staked back up. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna move this oop, down here. And this is the ceramic pot that I had her sitting in and I washed it out and everything. So it is free of mealies in here. <laughs> Uh, I just got my beneficial bug order into uh, mites. I'm going to put those out. Maybe I can briefly show you guys. I'm going to show my Instagram story. Uh, I like showing them when I get them in, but I'll just open the package with you guys too and show you what I got. I'm going to put them out all over too. So it's been a few days. I did, you know, manhandle the roots significantly and I, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, it was intense. I've never sprayed a plant down like that with the hose, not like the plant roots and everything. Uh, it was intense, but I feel like she's held up so well. She hasn't like uh, stressed at all. <laughs> she at least hasn't shown me that she's stressed. So I won't have to water this Hoya for a while because the soil's wet. I gave it a good thorough drink and I repotted her and everything. I don't see any mealies. I don't think that there would be any mealies because I got rid of all the old soil and everything. I'm just not going to put her back in the spot until I know for sure that they're like eliminated out of this area. I meant to order more, uh, trellises for my Hoyas. Uh, I ordered a different thing of trellises for a different plant I was thinking of, but I forgot to order more of these kinds of trellises. They're like a two pack. They come in like a circle. This is a heart shaped one and there's another shape and they're like two for 10, 11, 12 bucks or something, which isn't bad, but I'm just going to use this one. I feel like this plant has kind of outgrown this trellis, but we're just going to stick her back in the center. And we're going to start wrapping the vines kind of back up. So this one has not bloomed for me yet. I've had several Hoyas in my collection that I've had for a really long time and they haven't bloomed yet. I did order the fertilizer as well <laughs> to update you. I ordered the GT Foliage Focus. Uh, so I'm going to see how that goes. I'm excited to test it out. See, this is all the clips that I had on here originally. So I'm wondering if like using a different fertilizer will help some of my Hoyas bloom, the ones that haven't bloomed yet. Just kind of wrapping this all around. And then So cute. I love this vine right here. It is so pretty, all that white. Yeah, I would say she's definitely outgrown this trellis for sure. <laughs> well, that is okay. I'm not the biggest fan of bamboo trellises, but I do, uh, I guess they're okay. She's beautiful. I love her. <laughs> so yeah, Crimson uh, Queen 
and has not bloomed. So let's grab the other one that was really bad with Mealy's was my Hoya Rutusa, and it does the single flower blooms. Uh, that's the one that was very, very sappy and it attracted ants in my plant room. It uh, looks like some sort of, uh, it doesn't really look like a Hoya. It looks like some sort of Ripsalis, I guess, but it is a Hoya. And yeah, it was one of the main plants that I put the lace wings on. And again, I did spray that one off once already before I did the second round of lace wings. Uh, but I feel like uh, even after the second round, the lace wings still like didn't really do much. Although I would love to change the soil out on that one. I, I don't know. I wasn't planning on changing the soil out on all of them. But I feel like to get rid of the mealies is really the only way to do that, maybe. I don't know. Let me take a look and see what it's looking like. Uh, there's still a lot of blooms. She's kind of in her uh, dried up bloom. Ooh, mealy. Ooh. <laughs> mealy. Hmm. I would like to spray this entire plant. What I'll do is I might uh, get my spray bottle that has the alcohol and then dilute it with water so it's not super strong. This is only 70%, which I feel like I cover the plant in 70% alcohol just straight out of here. I don't think it's damaged the plant leaves, but I might just dilute it a little with water and just go like crazy spraying everything. But I'm trying to decide if I should uh, hose this outside just to knock anything off. I feel like the stream from my shower or faucet isn't as strong as my watering hose. I'm tempted to like do the same thing I did with the other Hoya, like completely bare root it and just spray the crap out of it with my hose outside. And But then I'm like, then I feel bad because I'm like wasting soil and all of that. So that one for sure has the mealies. You can see there's one like right here. You see the little white dot right here? That is a huge mealy. <laughs> uh, not as bad as the, that was definitely the worst uh, Hoya for sure with the mealies. I haven't checked over some of these Hoyas for mealies, so I'm not sure how far spread it happened. I just know that there's some uh, other plants. This is another Hoya. It's a Hoya Chelsea. Let me just set this one here. And I did have some mealies on this one uh, that you can still see. And this is the one that I need to repot. Uh, and this one has definitely had, this one definitely has mealies too. Again, not nearly as bad. Like there's mealies, but not as bad as the other one. Uh, but yeah, but I think there's more on this one than that one. This is my um, Shepardii, the string bean Hoya. It has bloomed for me. And there's several more peduncles. Uh, it finally bloomed after all this time. But this one I do need to repot. I haven't repotted this Hoya in like two years. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of mealy, so this one's definitely, I'm going to definitely take this one outside and hose it off. So since I have to go outside and hose it off, uh, I might as well hose off all of them. You know, to reduce spread, it would be, the soil in here is extremely old. That soil is not that old, but I'm worried that if I keep it, more will hatch. So this one is my big crimson princess. Um, this is one of my oldest Hoyas and she's barely grown at all this year because she came down with flat mites. Uh, she hasn't really done anything at all and I used to really, really love this Hoya so, 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 so much. Uh, I do see new growth on some spots, but this is another one that is covered in mealies. Um, I don't believe this one has been repotted in a while. Um, Cause I didn't repot this one when she had flat mites. So I do believe I want to take this one out and hose it off outside as well. This was a, a, a Hoya, um, 
uh, compacta. I repotted it not too long ago. Um, there is a strand here that is not rooted, the stem. I need to prop this piece. It's all wrinkly, it's not getting any hydration. I'll have to prop that piece in some stratum probably. I think there's a couple strands that look a little unhappy. Out of all the mealies that were over here, I'm really surprised that they didn't go for the compacta. Isn't the compacta like one of the worst uh, plants to get a mealy infestation on? Oh, I lied, there's some mealies. They found their way to it, there's a couple. <laughs> couple random mealies. So with this one, I probably will just, uh, since there's not a lot, I'll probably just do like a manual treatment uh, at the sink, probably in a spray bottle. I'll just spray some alcohol and keep an eye. So this one isn't bad. There's like one strand over here that has some mealies. These are our last two Hoyas that are over here in the window. I'm spraying all these Hoyas down regardless if they have mealies. I'm just going to do some alcohol on them. This one is not very old in here. I potted this one up. Yeah, there's some mealies. I potted this one up not that long ago. I only see one mealy so far, so that one didn't really spread. Well, this is my Bertine. I've had, this is one of my, this is my second oldest Toya, I believe, or my first Toya that I purchased. Uh, unfortunately, the ants got a hold of it. Uh, so I had to basically uh, redo it in here and it hasn't bloomed again since I potted it up in here. Uh, but it still has peduncles, so maybe it'll bloom again eventually. All right, so these I'm not really seeing like obvious mealies. If there is a couple random ones, I can get them with a spray bottle, I think. I'll just hose the leaves off. So I'll do these three in my kitchen sink and then the rest of them that are more severely infested, I will do uh, outside because I uh, want to get rid of the soil, especially the Princess and the Shepardii, like those haven't been repotted in like two years. I'm trying to decide, I would really like to keep all the Hoya together. That way I can kind of keep them isolated. That way if they do get mealies again, um, I can, they won't spread around as much, you know, instead of having a Hoya here, a Hoya here, a Hoya there, I can just group them together. So I'm thinking I might clear off a shelf, uh, but no, because then my big crimson princess has to go on that shelf. I could do that. I could just make the window the Hoyas and then put these other plants that are in the window over here. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven Hoya. So I can just put them all by the window. And yeah, I'll just rearrange. I'll do that. So the Hoyas will go by the window and then I can keep a closer eye on them. Trying to do this before my husband gets home. Uh, it's already heading towards five o'clock, so he might get home. I hate having stuff in the kitchen sink because I have like the guest bathroom that I've taken over with plant stuff, but this little corner, it's easy to water and do plant stuff here in the kitchen sink rather than trying to go back and forth. But I know he doesn't like plant stuff in the kitchen area, which I can understand. <laughs> so yeah, I try not to do this stuff when he's home. Let those soak. Any clips, I'm just kind of peeling off uh, the orchid clips and soaking in one of these nursery pots. And some of the vines on here are like dead. So any dead vines, um, I need to get a pair of shears. I'm just like cutting off and throwing away cause nothing's gonna grow out of a dead vine. And some of them may have mealy, so. That's why I wanna clean the trellis because there's like mealy residue. 
you see right there? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So I have some alcohol in here. I'm just gonna add just a little bit, a little bit of water. And I'll spray the leaves really good with it. Okay, actually invest in a spray bottle that works. I have several that I use, but I have um, Castile soap in them right now. Ooh, smells strong of alcohol. So I did a little spray down with alcohol. I just did a tiny bit. Oh shoot. Out of all that spraying and cleaning I did, I have a freaking Mealy right there on the vine. I don't know if I'm liking this uh, method. <laughs> I feel like I need to go outside and like hose her down. I honestly don't, I think that was really the only one on there minus a couple on the trellis. I don't really see anymore. And if there is, hopefully the alcohol here will set in and get them. So I just did a tiny, tiny bit on the surface. I don't want like the plants to like drink up the alcohol <laughs> and then the plant die or anything. So the ones that I treat, I'm gonna get a new towel and the ones that I've treated, I'm just going to sit in a different location. I'm gonna be spraying them all down with alcohol uh, in the sink here. And I use hot water because you can dunk plants in a pretty like decent amount of hot water, I feel like. Cause I read that when I was doing like flat mite research that people were dunking their Hoyas in hot water to kill off flat mites. So I use like just my hottest setting, but just be careful not to, uh, I don't know how detrimental it can be with the root system. So I would say definitely be careful about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna spray the leaves down here uh, really good with the alcohol. And then I'm gonna do the other one. And then, yeah, you'll see me kind of like clean up this area and check. And yeah, then we'll head outside. So this is the variegated strand. Do you see how wrinkly it is? And the bottom part of it is woody is why I cut it. Uh, for some reason, this is not good. This whole like piece here is woody. So what I'm gonna do is cut here, um, get rid of this, and then I'm gonna pull off leaves from this bottom node here. So this is what I have left. And then what I'll end up doing is sticking this probably in some flugel stratum and prop this. And then once I get enough roots, I can stick it back down in here. Uh, for some reason it just, yeah, it just dried up.
spray this with the alcohol really good. I cannot believe I have not cleaned these windows in this long. Oh, it's so gross. I haven't cleaned that one yet. You can see all that buildup from the rain and everything. And the mealies were lined up against the paneling here. You could see the mealies, uh, some of them. So that's definitely the source of where they came in. Now I'm worried about putting the Hoyas right in front of the window. So note to self, clean your windows. <laughs> I was sort of slacking, which means I haven't cleaned my bedroom ones in a really long time. Not my plant room, but the bedroom or master. Uh, Cause there's actually six, one, two, three. No, there's five windows in there or six. Cause it's a big bay window. And I know those are probably disgusting. So that is next uh, house chore, fall, spring thing that I'll do. <laughs> This is one of my lemon limes. It's the one I keep out here in the dining room. I try to like manicure it and pull off yellow leaves and kind of like brown, yellow, crusty leaves that have gone crispy. <laughs> I try to do that uh, maybe once a month. I feel like I don't uh, pay much attention to this one because I have four, <laughs> four lemon limes. It just kind of does its thing down here. Uh, I do want to repot these eventually. They are still in their crusty uh, Costa soil, you can see. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but she is very full and beautiful. And I love her. I was just doing like, you know, a mealy check with all these plants over here. And I don't see any mealies. Uh, I feel like they really just were attacking the Hoyas. I haven't, I haven't found any mealy so far on any of these plants. I only have two more to check or three more to check. And they were literally just on the Hoya plants. <laughs> That's so funny. Welcome back. <laughs> it is 9.30 at night. I know it's several hours later. I ate my husband came home and um, I ended up cleaning this entire area uh, you, that you saw. I vacuumed, I wiped and cleaned the windows. I did a full clean. <laughs> I cleaned this shelf here. I took every single plant down. I took it to my sink, inspected for mealies, wiped the shelf, wiped the leaves. Oh, I just like sprayed them off. Uh, I have to water one moss pole over here yet, but everything else is done. Oh shoot, I forgot about the hanging plant. My uh, just sienna that I have hanging, whoops. I'll have to take that one down after filming and just like hose it off and water it. Um, so I didn't film this portion, but about 7.30, like right before it was getting dark, I'm like, shoot, I need to take these Hoyas out and completely demolish them. That's what I decided to do. I decided to uh, take them all apart, get rid of all the soil. Two of the four were old anyway. I hadn't repotted in a really long time. Uh, <laughs> And I sprayed them, jet sprayed them off with the hose for like 
I don't know, I was out there for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes at least, doing each one, cleaning the containers, just cleaning everything, cleaning every inch of those plants. So I seriously doubt that there is a mealy that's gonna be here, <laughs> unless it's from the three Hoyas that I didn't repot. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on them. I've had the four plants that I uh, took outside. They're in my sink right there. They're still in my sink soaking in Castile soap. They've been soaking for at least an hour, which is way longer than I expected them to soak, but I was eating and I took a little break. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to drain those and then we're going to pot them all up, get them back on their trellis, looking pretty, and then we're going to put them over here by the window. So that is the plan. We have four Hoyas to do, so let's get to it. Okay, this is what we have to work with. I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to grab the first one. All right, we got the Retusa. I think this one I kept together for the most part. So this is my normal mix. This is, this is Fox Farm. I'm just gonna use this for all the Hoyas. So we're doing a couple scoops. We are doing our Osmico in here. And then I'm also going to use this. This is by Thickly. Uh, they sent this to me a long time ago and I never used it. I opened it earlier today for a different video and it's called Slow Mana, and it's basically just a soil conditioner and fertilizer enhancer. It says it, you can use it with fertilizer to improve uptake of nutrients. And um, when I opened it earlier, it looks like little black peppercorns. <laughs> the only instructions I have is to use a teaspoon per pot, and it doesn't say how much to put in each pot, like depending on the size. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in here. Um, just because I have it and might as well use it. It kind of looks like that. <laughs> yeah, it literally looks like black peppercorns. So we're going to sprinkle some of that in there too. And in we go. I don't think these Hoyas would stress too much from, from doing all this. Like I said, the Crimson Queen that I did like three days ago is doing just fine. This one was really easy to do. So I had this one kind of cascading down over my shelf. I didn't have it um, like in a trellis or anything like that. I had tried a trellis for it, but it just didn't, it didn't look right. And this is the one that blooms constantly. So that one is all done. Who is next? All right, Shepardii is next. Yeah, I don't see anything. So we're just gonna pop this one back up. So this one I did have on a trellis, but I don't know if I wanna do this one on a trellis anymore. I think I like it trailing. So we had that one in the other five inch. This one bloomed for me the first time a few months ago. It's been in my collection for about three years. Just gonna plop this one right down in the center.
lost some beans along the way. Hmm. I've had this one on a trellis for so long. Should I put this back on a trellis? What would you guys do? I think I'm gonna let it trail for now, but I may end up putting on a trellis, we'll see. I kinda like it trailing. That one is done. The Crimson Princess, I completely uh, separated the root ball because um, I was like cracking a lot of the leaves when I was like trying to, yeah, so I'm going to have to like pot it individually um, back up in the Costa pot. Uh, so I have a lot to work with. This is the Chelsea. I only had two small cuttings of that one and the rest of this is the Crimson um, Princess. So we have this one in the little cup here. trellis for this one. This one, did I say this one was the Hoya Chelsea? Um, I got this as a cutting a while ago, and this is all that it's done. I propagated it, so that's why I have two pieces instead of just one. Uh, but I find that one's growing very slowly for me. And last but not least is my beautiful Crimson Princess. Let's see. These little dining chairs come in handy because I can just create more space. <laughs> Whoops, I let my memory card uh, get too full, so I had to delete some stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. So this is the uh, Hoya that had flat mites as well. It hasn't done or grown hardly at all this year. Just cutting off some woody growth. So I have some soil on the bottom. All I'm gonna do is just start piling these around the pot and then I'll fill up around. I'm just gonna start taking the vines and just kind of like going all around in a circle. I'll have to propagate that, whoops.
You guys, I am so happy I am taking care of these Hoyas. Do you know how long this one has been on my to-do list for? For like a year. I said I was going to do this last year and I didn't. She's so pretty now. I really hope she starts growing for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these to my sink and just give them a quick water and um, I have all their like ceramics. I'm going to put them back in their spots and then I'm going to come back on and show you them in their section and give you a little overview of everyone. And then I'll like briefly show you my beneficial bug order, my mites. I'm going to get them put out in my plant room um, here in a little bit and I'll just briefly kind of show you that and that'll be it for this video. <laughs> so I will be back on in just a bit. All right, I just wanted to give you an overview of the dining area. I got everything cleaned in here. Everything is watered, checked, rearranged, and I ended up putting the Hoyas over here by the window. So I have eight total Hoyas over here now, and I'll kind of just run through them. So that's the Crimson Princess that I just repotted and did. So that's her normal spot. And then that's the queen that I did a few days ago. And these were the props that I uh, put in some stratum. It's the piece of the queen and the variegated compacta piece. So that's in stratum to root. And then I have here, I have the Shepardii, the Chelsea in the middle, and then the compacta. And then on this stand, I have the Pubicalic Splash up top and then the Retusa and the um, Burton A. I'm not expecting any more mealies to pop up, but we'll see. I will keep a very close high. And then the only thing that I have to do is just water my Silta Pecana. I'm like currently trying to water it through the top. But look at this big leaf. Look how big this new leaf is. Isn't that crazy? It is huge. <laughs> I move these three poles here and then I move that grow light up to the top shelf. I'm about to turn it off. And then I have like my Marianta on the bottom shelf. I move my Orbifolia here. And then this I'm still kind of rearranging the shelf over here. I have lots of room to still put plants. So I'm still kind of figuring, you know, all of this out, but I got my big neon um, kind of watered and cleaned. I took everyone down and nobody had any mealies. So this shelf is now Hoya free and I didn't see any mealies on anyone except for the Hoyas. So I think they just really like the Hoyas. Uh, so that's why I kind of have them all together right here. And yeah, I can just come over here and keep a close eye and hopefully uh, nothing else pops up. It is very late now, <laughs> but this is my beneficial bug order uh, from Nature's Good Guys. I was just going to open it up really quick and just show you. It's just the uh, Californicus. Luna's about to jump up here. Uh, I got 25 sachets times two, so there's a total of 50. They've definitely shrunken down their bags. They're not as uh, big. They're like smaller than what I'm used to. That's interesting. So I have two packs of 25. There's supposed to be 250 mites per sash per each one of these sachets. Uh, so I guess they're just like redid their packaging. I kind of like these. They're not as big and bulky. They're like taller and skinnier, uh, but they come out of those little holes there in the packet. There's little holes and they'll just like slowly hatch out of there. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. I'm not gonna film like me putting them on my plants cause I just, I just hook them on just like with that little hook. I'm gonna try and put them behind the leaves so that they're not super obvious. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long video. It has been a video. <laughs> Lots of Hoya care, repotting, cleaning. I honestly feel just so much better now that that is done and over with. In my mind, I'm thinking like, I don't have to worry about mealy spreading. I'm still gonna keep a close eye on them, but it's not like 
uh, it's not a task in my head that's like I've been dreading, you know, it's, I feel like somewhat relieved that that is done. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.